Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Now here we have a bigger brother from Striker. This is Antec Cannon and just wow. You might have seen my time-lapse video a week ago that I published, but today we're going to break it down and I'm going to explain all the details about this case that it can support and what you could expect if you decide to go with it. This is of course almost, let's say, a show off build because it's not your regular case it's an open chassis but before i go any further let's check it out So first things first, let's talk about motherboard support. So it can support up to E80X motherboards, which as you can see, it has loads of space, even if you go really, really high, and that's quite outstanding. Now there are two positions for a graphic card. You can place the graphic card right here. Still, you do need a riser cable, or you can place it on front just like I did. Now I placed it on front because I didn't have any radiators left, and they are all in other builds, but you can imagine how it looks cool with the graphic card on the front. Now, if you place your graphic card here, you have a possibility to place radiator on the front and it gives you a possibility to go with a bit thicker radiator. So PE from EK can fit quite nicely with 25 millimeter fans. And what I placed here is actually a PE right at the back and fans are at the outside of the case. So. This gives you a space for PE, but XC, yeah, I don't think that one could fit. Slim Triple fits perfectly everywhere. Now, since I'm already talking about the radiators, you have quite outstanding space here at the back side of the case. And you can see from the close-ups how I placed the uh, FLT360. Now, the FLT360 can be mounted in two ways because the brackets that you get, the FLT360, actually are quite shorter. And just here, at the part where the pump goes, actually you can squeeze in the pump and use the shorter brackets, making it more, let's say, in line with the fans and the radiator on top. Since we're talking about the radiator on top, you could go with XE, I think without any problems, but you do need to figure out the way how to place your fittings. So imagine this, if you decide to place a tube reservoir pump combo right here, you can place one radiator, two radiators, three radiators. If you decide to go with an FLT at the back, you can go with one, two, and three on the front if you place the graphic card right here. So there are really loads of possibilities here to manage. And I think if you go with an ITX board and you place a graphic card here, pump here, you can go with four radiators. Now, of course, this is just an extreme situation where I don't think anybody would use this case for an ITX build. For that, we have Striker, right? Now, let's see here. The side panels pop out quite easily and you can remove them quite nicely because as you can see, you don't have any screws. They go into this rubber mounting holes and you have four of them. Now, right here, you have caddies to support for two SSDs, two 2.5 inch. And on the other side, you have the same possibility. So you can actually place four 2.5 inch SSDs all together on these sides. That's outstanding. Since we're on this side, you have all the IO ports right here. You have power on button. You have 3.5 millimeter four pole jack for your headset and for your microphone. Then you have two USB 3.0 and you have USB type C. I think that's quite all right since we have a motherboard in the same position as on Striker. So all the ports are right here and they're not that easy accessible. But honestly, you could basically remove this side panel with two screws and access all the ports that you need. I would prefer here going with uh, wireless peripherals, wireless headsets, or anything similar to that, just so you don't have to, you know, reattach them or just attach everything and reroute at the back if you have wired peripherals. Now, as you can see, the tubing is much more easier to do here than on Striker. I mean, even the striker, if you give much more thought, could be done quite nicely. But comparing my builds, for instance, the striker one and this one, I think I'm more satisfied with this build than with the striker, even though both can be done quite nicely. The tubes can go parallel here. 
you can do nice rerouting this is almost exactly on the line you just need to have a tube that has a slight bend so you can connect your monoblock if you go with monoblock of course directly to your graphic card graphic card can go back to the radiator radiator to distro distro back to another radiator and then radiator back to your monoblock cpu block or whatever you decide to use here you can mount a tube pump reservoir uh, that you can place right here and then you have more space at the back for another radiator if you want extra cooling capacity this is what i said when i saw the case and when i built this build i said this is an outstanding case in terms of cooling capacity because in that situation you can most likely squeeze in 2xe at the back which is wow now since we're talking about open chassis we have a certain airflow that i would suggest even though these fans right here on this radiator are blowing inside i place these fans blowing outside so let's put it this way we have a certain airflow going through the case in the middle chassis where you actually have loads of cables if you don't reroute them at the bottom i did so i have only 124 pin cable running here and right here you have two eight pins so that's not bad and it could actually be quite nicely rearranged more space of course it's a bigger chassis more space than striker but still quite nice and more organized i would say the thing is it's really hard to carry around you do need to be very careful you can place your hands here around the pipes eventually over there on the front or right here to remove it adjust it or if you're building it somewhere else that is near your desk you can do that you have three possibilities for graphic height now you have a mounting mechanism on the front that if you decide to remove radiator holder or fan holder whatever you decide to place on front you can mount the gpu holder on front in three varieties three different positions so you can go with lower position than this mine is currently on the middle one and you can place it even higher maybe if i placed it a bit higher then i didn't have to do this bend right here but then it's all up to your personal preferences how you decide the loop will this look and everything else at the bottom you can really place a huge power supply and all the cables can go there you don't have to worry about that i would only suggest placing the power supply first because otherwise you won't be able to access the power supply screws uh, because of the rate here right back so yeah that's another thing the middle chassis here is around four centimeters of space so you have loads of space to range the cables i mean i use the extenders for 24 pin to 8 pin for your eps and 28 pin for your graphic card and it all fit including the long cables from the power supply so yeah that's cool we have two side panels in tempered glass which just pop inside with pegs on these four holders and they're quite easy to actually place them in and place them out then when we're talking about mounting the radiator and the distro plate at the back here is the thing you can disassemble the whole case leaving only sheets of aluminium basically having only one piece of this right here then you can tie up the radiator tie up the flt 360 to 40 or whatever you decide to go and then connect everything back you can see that from a close-up how i did it i had to remove everything not because of the motherboard but because of this panel which actually collides with the holes at the back so this is something that you just need to do otherwise if you decide to rearrange you'll definitely have to remove the motherboard in any situation so yeah that's one thing that you need to consider only while building so there's a certain process and certain way of building this case i know some of you might ask uh, since it's an open chassis that will have loads of dust and stuff like that if you have a certain air compressor or whatever you can just clean it out and it's quite easy because as you can see you can deattach everything remove all the panels you can easily clean it there is no fuss about it at the back instead of a radiator you have a bracket that actually supports a 3.5 inch hard drive an additional bracket that actually supports two additional 2.5 inch ssds to be precise when we're talking about cooling capacity at the side panel you can place two 360 millimeter radiators with thickness up to 60 millimeters on front you could go with 360 millimeter radiators with thickness up to 45 millimeters and on the rear you could go 
with actually 420 millimeter radiator with thickness up to 45 millimeters. All in all, when we're talking about the complete configuration, you could go up to uh, four hard drives in the whole chassis, or you could go with eight 2.5 inch SSDs. Maximum GPU length is up to 385 millimeters, CPU height maximum is 85 millimeters, and maximum power supply length is 270 millimeters. You already get a riser cable, PCI Gen 4, which is 370 millimeters long. Now, another thing that you might consider is the cable management. Now, I didn't mention the main cables, but for the fans, they can be rerouted nicely to the edges and they can be hidden quite nicely. At the bottom is a total mess if you don't reorganize everything. I didn't organize everything perfectly, but there's a possibility, you know, to manage some Velcro ties or whatever and reorganize it at the bottom to make it nice, clean and simple. Now, the case is outstanding when we're talking about the design the chassis, the material, the edges aren't sharp whatsoever and they're quite nicely rounded. So the attention to details on this case is outstanding. There is literally no flaws and everything is nicely arranged, designed, manufactured and everything else. And I have nothing else to say. I actually love Canon more than a striker. And if you're interested in a showroom build, and you want to have it in your room, place your gaming PC inside, have it in your uh, gaming setup or stream setup or whatever you're doing. I think this is just outstanding. I'll leave it out without any colors so you can actually see how all the color scheme can be managed and how you can actually do whatever. So guys, quite outstanding case from Antec. Finally, another refreshing model in Canon compared to striker torque dark cube they're also amazing cases but this one is just wow i really loved building in it and if you want to check out the whole process of building in antec canon you can check out this card right here with my time lapse video about antec canon and yeah that's it so guys uh thank you for watching today's video if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell for future content and hopefully i will see you very soon in another video bye bye